Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly love readings. These will be from the 1st until the 8th of November. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also, these are general love readings, so they're not going to resonate with every single person every single week. If it's not resonating with you this week, that's okay. Hit that notification button if you haven't already, and then go and check out one of the other tarot readers here on YouTube. If you think you need a personal reading, uh, you can check out all of the details and how to reach me down in the description box below. We are going to look today at your love messages for this week. We're going to look at your feelings, your person's feelings, outcome or most likely outcome advice uh romance angel and we're going to finish on a three card pick a card so if you're finding that the message isn't resonating with you this week that's okay um just fast forward to that three card pick a card if you'd like and you can ask a question which hopefully you'll get an answer to all right let's get straight into it so love messages please for sagittarius first of the 8th of november I hoped I had hoped to have my pumpkin carved and ready and I'm not that organized so I apologize I'll try and put it in the monthlies even though I know the monthlies are for November I don't know I'm a bit slow bear with me <laughs> oh coming out straight away it's one card death card here maybe dealing with a Scorpio Sagittarius love messages for Sagittarius oh okay Queen of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Ace of Wands in reverse. So I feel like this is something that kind of fizzled out pretty quickly. Um, we've got the Empress there. Oh, okay. Someone may have accidentally got pregnant. They didn't mean to get pregnant and they did. <laughs> mm. Oh, it doesn't have to be though just maybe okay and the um hangman sorry my brain all right let's clarify straight away uh i'll see tell me about this ace of wands in reverse please why is the ace of wands in reverse okay no there's two women involved that's what it is yeah okay so this is a situation where um there's an older woman involving herself in this situation you, you may actually be holding on to something that kind of was very brief um and it does look like it's fizzled out possibly that it's ended um but see how she's still longingly looking at that and I have to apologize, I broke two nails in a previous reading. I don't know how it happened, don't ask. Um, it, uh, yeah, see how she's still longingly looking at that pentacle, um, wishing, hoping. Um, I, I feel like she's kind of ignoring the signs around her um, and trying to hold on. And meanwhile, we've got this other other person over here and I feel like this might be a an older female figure who might have some concern um she seems worried is how I feel it tell me about um the death card please what's the death card yep someone's refusing to talk anymore there's no communication between the two of you. One more, please, for the death card. Yep, not interested in fighting for this. Not even fighting, just nothing, just silence. There's just silence from this person. And it's almost like there's denial. Um, there you are, Sagittarius in reverse. Is this denial. I feel like that it was something that was very brief, very short term. If it was someone that came back in after a long time, it, it was over before it even started kind of thing. And I feel like you're struggling to let go of this. Um, you're struggling to see the signs around you to, to say that this person is not, um, is not pursuing this. Who is this um, empress? Tell me about the empress, please. Who's the empress? Yeah, they see, they see this person for who they are. 
they see, it's almost like they see straight through this person. I feel like, again, this is a mother figure or, you know, a more, an older, wiser female figure who his she's got x-ray vision she sees that this person was full of crap from the very beginning she may have even warned you when you came back um when they came back rather if it's someone that has come back or she may have warned you when you first got together with them but she saw that they were not being truthful they didn't stand by their word like she saw that they were fake um and that you they were going to hurt you more on the empress please and i feel like that's why she's worried about you more on the empress Yeah, she may not want to or she may not be able to travel to you if she's at a distance or she may not want to be away from you if she's close by. Um, you might be finding that suffocating. One more, please. Yeah, she knows. She knows this shouldn't go any further um, because she sees, she sees the thief of who he is. Um, she's got perspective. She's standing back. But... We've got this hangman here. So we've just in waiting phase. I think it will take some time. Hangman, please. Yeah. So until you feel less hurt and less vulnerable, um, I think you will remain in this phase. She's not doing anything because she can see how vulnerable you are. She may not be saying too much. One more, please, for the hangman. In the hangman. Yeah. With this Knight of Swords here, <laughs> I'm seeing it's really interesting how the cards sometimes move in front of you, even though they're static. It's like the Knight of Swords. It's almost like the Empress wants to come in and chop you from the tree and take you away from your stagnation and wake you up and help you see. Um, but she knows that she can't do that because you're too fragile at the moment with this strength card in reverse. So she's holding back. Um, but she desperately wants you to wants to cut that rope and take you out of this stuck feeling that she can see you're in. All right, I'm going to clarify you as one here and then we're going, going to go into your feelings because I do believe this is you guys. Uh, clarify the Queen of Pentacles, please. You are ready to love this person, like truly love this person. Um, <clears throat> I'm just looking at the very unique chair that she's sitting in in this particular card. It's a bit creepy, actually. I don't know if anyone's seen the movie The Nun. It's a bit like that, um, where you can see that it's almost – there's some um, – what I would say is some, um, it's like a nun-like figure, spiritual figure, kind of holding her, like she, I've got your back, trying to protect her. Um, so this may have been a situation that you were being protected from and that may very well be the case, particularly if this empress has seen that. Um, tell me about the Queen of Pentacles, please. Yeah. I feel like there were third parties. You may be going through a period of depression as well with the three of pentacles. One more, please, for the three of pentacles. I know I said one, but yeah. Mm, I think I think you're just really sad at the moment um, and kind of in a space of denial. Thoughts and feelings, please, for Sagittarius. Yeah. You're wanting to cut everyone else and everything off because you feel like that's the only way you can get over the heartbreak. So if I just cut everyone off and not talk to anyone and just try and, you know, ignore what's happening and I don't have to talk to anyone, I don't have to face it, um, that's kind of the headspace you're in at the moment. Thoughts and feelings for this other person, please. And then I want to do thoughts and feelings for the Empress because she's very concerned about you. Thoughts and feelings for the other person. Uh, yep, they're the emperor in reverse, so they're kind of only interested in themselves. They may be an Aries. Okay, so <clears throat> they're really focused on their own personal growth. They're only looking at themselves. They're not really thinking about you or this situation. I do feel like it was a much bigger connection on your side than theirs. They kind of 
haven't really uh, been as heavily impacted. I, w I almost want to say it's like they haven't really even noticed, which I know sounds awful, um, but they, they're just kind of, they're focusing on themselves with that seven of pentacles and their money potentially as well. Um, oh, tell me about how the empress is feeling, please. Thoughts and feelings on the empress. Yeah, again, told you. I told you. She's worried about you guys. So I don't know who this is, but they really care about you. I know that they're probably suffocating you and really annoying you, partly because they were bright and partly because they're just trying to be helpful, but it's annoying you at the moment. They're genuinely worried about you. Um, they know that you've got a long healing road ahead of you for some reason. Um, they may have actually seen you go through a lot. They also may be concerned that you're not going to let go of the situation with the six of swords in reverse and that, you know, you're, you're refusing to move on um, and refusing to see the truth about what's happening here. So I'm either going to get heaps of really horrible comments because you're all going to hate me because you, maybe I'm your, your empress. Maybe I'm the one saying, yeah, you shouldn't have done that. Um, but yeah, I, I, look, I have to read it as it is. So, you know, that's what I do. All right, let's see if we can get some most likely outcome here. What's the most likely outcome for Sagittarius, please? Most likely outcome for Sagittarius. So that does tell me that there's not going to be a reconciliation between the two of you at the moment. Yeah, there's nothing. This person is not interested in a long-term commitment with you at the moment. Two more, please. Most likely outcome. Yeah. Okay. I think for this person, they did not see this connection as a long-term commitment potential. Um, they're not, it's not that they're confused. It's not that they're thinking about things. And I feel like that may be some of the stuff you're telling yourself. Maybe they just need time. Maybe they're just confused. They're not confused. Um, it's very clear. They are looking for something different to what they experienced in your connection, which I know is hard to hear and it sucks. Um, but what that means is that frees you up to find your actual person, like the one that does want those things with you because how amazing is it when we feel the same way about someone as they feel about us it's mind-blowing um it's rare but it's awesome when it happens so i think um probably the purpose of this reading is to just bring your attention to some of what's happening and the people around you that might be trying to help you and kind of just encourage you to be open to their support um, open to the signs that the universe is trying to provide you even when they're hard to hear and be kind to yourself like take that time to heal that's okay you're over here in um, hangman mode that's all right but know that you've got people that care about you so much that they want to cut you out of hangman mode because they want to try and save you um, I think that's beautiful like the way those cards moved when I saw them I was like wow that's such a kind thing to want to do um, but I also know how if you're not ready for that, it seems oppressive, like someone's trying to take over. All right, let's get a romance angel for you. Okay, there you go. That jumped out. You saw it. It was on camera. What did I just say the purpose of this reading was? Be open. Keep an open mind. I do not make this stuff up. Like it, seriously, it's, <laughs> I can't explain it any other way. But that's, that's the purpose of this reading. That is why you've been called to this reading. You also have deception on the bottom of the deck too. Um, so that may be deception with yourself. That could be deception with the other person. Either way, that's part of the lesson that you guys need to work through. But you must, must, must keep an open mind um, and try and expand your mind in this situation too, which is hard. I get it. All right, let's go with an advice. Advice for Sagittarius, please. for Sagittarius for this week yeah oh 
So this Empress may feel like you're keeping secrets from her um, and that's the reason that you're holding on. So you, you may want to have a bit of an open conversation with her. One more. There may also be, um, again, yeah, so that may be why we've got some reverse cards here So and, and some repeating energy. So you've got reverse, reverse, which are both appearing on her side. So that also may because of these secrets separating you and her taking action or rather not taking action, that might be the thing that's coming between you at the moment. So it might just be needing to communicate feelings um, to your empress, whoever is represented there, um, because I think that they feel like they can't help you, like they can't approach you with that Knight of Swords in reverse. And I think you do need their help. Um, even if you think you don't need their help, Trust me, I was right about the keep an open mind. I think you need their help. And I think that they will be able to make things better for you. So just trust that. All right, let's move into the three card pick a card section. So uh, think of a question that you would like answered. It doesn't need to be in relation to this reading. I'm going to select three cards. Whichever card you're most drawn to is the card that has your answer. So card number one, please. Card number two. And card number three. All right, let's go. So card number one, if you're most drawn to card number one, your answer is there's something better. I swear to God, if you resonated with this reading and you picked card number one, this message is for you, 100%. There's something better. If whatever you're asking about, you think that it's the thing that you want, universe has selected something even better so imagine how amazing it's going to be when you get it just trust that the universe does know best even when it seems like the universe doesn't know what it's doing I've too have been in that situation if you were most drawn to card number two your answer is communicate clearly also related to this reading so you do need to communicate um now, whether or not you were resonating with this reading or not, this is highlighting that there are issues with your communication. Um, try different ways of communicating. Try writing things down. Try, um, you know, um, coming to a, a, not a meeting, but, you know, agreeing to catch up with someone and coming coming to that meeting, I guess it is a meeting, um, <laughs> or catch up with your pre-prepared dot points. I always say that's a, like something that's an emotional meeting do that. Don't be afraid about how you're going to look if you've written down some dot points. The worst thing is when you actually get to the end of a discussion, an important discussion, and you walk away and you think, oh, I didn't get to say all those things I wanted to say, all those queries or questions or problems or whatever. So if you come prepared and you're able to communicate clearly, then that makes it a lot easier. But this is more about, you know, make sure that your communication is clear and try and identify, if it's not, try and identify other ways you might um, be able to communicate. If you're most drawn to card number three, your answer is forgiveness. So you need to try and practice or find forgiveness in whatever situation you're asking about. And that's actually going to help the situation progress. Um, so yeah, all right, Sagittarius, that was a bit of a tough one, actually. So look, feel free to reach out if you think you need a personal reading for your actual, like, you know, individual circumstances. You can find all of the details and how to reach me down in the description box below. Otherwise, please like, share, comment. Uh, monthly readings will be coming out over the next week. I'll be trying to do them this weekend. So stay tuned for those. But otherwise, I will see you here for the weeklies next week. Have a great week. Talk to you soon. Bye.